I just wanted to do a video, um, sort of like an update slash just sharing a few thoughts. So, um, for the update, um, I have a long road ahead of me still. Um, for those of you who are new, I suffer from chronic Lyme disease. I am not treating it at all. Um, I last treated it in 2015, and so it's been almost three years of not treating, or four, uh, give or take, I don't know. Um, and I also suffer from other things that uh, had kind of been sparked by um, the Lyme, which is IC, which is interstitial cystitis. Um, I also suffer from, um, I have a fracture L5, and um, I think I'm going to be doing physical therapy sometime in the future and getting a um, steroid shot, which I'm nervous about because it makes the Lyme um, fed by the stuff that's in that steroid, which makes it very painful throughout the body. I already suffer with pain every day and um, it can increase, you know, it's not fun. But um, also last year in November, I think I went to try to get disability because I'm unable to really work. Um, I am struggling with chronic fatigue syndrome which is another thing with Lyme. Um, so I have to sleep um, as much as I can. I'm in Zomiac, so it's hard for me to sleep um, at times when I need to sleep. Um, and also with my interstitial cystitis, I'm having to use the bathroom more than normal. And also, you know, I'll do another video to kind of break down what these things are, if you want to know what they are. But, um, anyways, I was notified last week on Friday, I believe, that I was denied. Um, which I'm not sure yet what the next step is, but I'm hoping that, um, we can figure it out. Um. I'm not going to sit there and keep this on myself and my shoulders because it is too much to carry. So um, I'm working on learning how to just give all my burdens to Christ. You know, not a lot of be people believe, um, which is totally fine, you know. I love so many people in their cultures because, you know, we're all, all, you know, not meant to be the same. We're supposed to sit there and, you know, share what makes us, us. Um, but, you know, I just try to sit there and care about everybody and, you know, try hard to be there for somebody. Because sometimes in this world we feel alone, which comes my thoughts, you know. Um... Last year, I lost my dad in January, of, um, the 31st of last year, and um, I just found out that one of uh, our uh, family friends died either last night or something like that, um, and I read people um, leaving messages for her, and um, honestly, it just makes me wonder, like, why do we wait until someone dies to tell them how much they meant to us? Or, you know, what we thought of them and what memory we have of them. Why can't we tell them when they're still here? Maybe they need to hear that. Maybe they need to just sit there and know that they are loved and that they are cared about. You know, I know I'm totally different from the next person because we all are going to have some sort of differency to one another, you know. 
but to me i just i just really wish people would realize that maybe somebody needs to hear the importance they are in their life what impact do they have or what memory do they have of being together you know it's hard to sit there and know what people think of you at times whether it's good or bad or you know it's very important for us to know what sort of impact or loving memory that we have in our lives or in someone else's lives you know like there's a song that talks about that um I don't want to leave a legacy I don't really care if they remember me only Jesus you see I know a lot of people aren't spiritual and that's perfectly fine but to me it's like Jesus died on the cross for our sins he made us new. God sent his son to sit there and go through torture for us so we can come to him one day. You know, that's pretty awesome. You know, but I'm certain that he, God made us to sit there and be able to take care of one another. To sit there and pick someone up when they are down on the ground, you know, lift their spirits, don't just sit there and walk over them, and not help them, to me, I think it's important that we show the people that are in our lives the importance of what they are to us, because how are they going to ever know when they're not here, so this is a challenge, you know, the challenge is to tell your brother, your sisters, or brothers, mom, dad, friend, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, grandma, grandpa, you know, anybody that comes in your path that makes some sort of impact in your life, what they mean to you. You can write them a letter. You can send them a song that comes to mind of them in your lives. You can message their friends and family and ask them to tell you a few things that they have on what they think of that person. You know, for my Christmas idea, I message my friend Brenda's family, her sisters, and a few of her friends, and ask them to tell me what they like about her, what she means to them, and gave that to her as a gift, because one night she was having a tough time because of someone she knew died, and she was wanting to know what someone would think of her when she's gone so my idea was why wait why wait for that day nobody knows their time nobody knows their day nobody knows the hour when their last breath is going to be drawn so please just sit there and show somebody the importance they are to them you know you can make one person's day then they can make one person's day. It could be a chain reaction. So, again, I challenge you to tell somebody that's in your life what they mean to you. So, that's my challenge. See ya.